So I did not expect solar to take as long as it did yesterday, but I'm so happy when I look at my van now. I just didn't want to give that up. That was like one of the first gifts that I got when I started van life. So I really didn't want to give it up. So I was glad I got it transferred to the new van, even though reconfiguring the solar required a lot of work and I almost messed up a cord trying to do it. But that's life. I even have like my Van City Van Life stickers. Is it, if it was still naked also and I hadn't started decorating it, um, I might have been more willing to let it go. But like I'm really attached to it for sentimental reasons. And if I could keep it, I wanted to keep it. Um, but today we're going to talk about we're doing two major things. And one, we're changing out the storage. And two, what the heck was that? Why would I use my thumb? <laughs> one... <laughs> changing out the storage and two the much more important one that's going to take a little bit more work we're going to build a new bed platform now Ken used the camping cot which is the smartest solution for when you need to do things fast and in a rush and Ken really invested where it counted he like he got himself a good fridge and yes he did use the van he used the van to go to RTR um and you know, he invested in a good fridge and he invested in a good power system. And then for his bed, he did a camping cot. And for his furniture, he just got some plastic bins. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do and explain why I'm making a change. Um, and I think it has to do with, you know, what I know about how I like things um, doing full time as opposed to going on a trip because for a trip I think this layout works perfectly but for me as a full timer and what I know about myself so far I think I need to change things up sorry about the lighting guys I'm really running and gunning with this in the most real fast fashion alrighty so these two black bins with the clear drawers are what Ken got they are almost from the bottom to the top of the van which is really nice but I actually felt like I could do less the drawers and still be happy um, and so ignore that little wood thing on top um, this is basically what came out of the van I've already pulled them out and just so I could dry fit the new ones which are over here and so I'm gonna use this for food storage as you can see it has a little lip on it so ideally I can put stuff in there and it won't be rumbled out by the vehicle moving and then I also have this drawer now you'll be able to see the color of it and how it works with the color of the vans inside once I get that installed but that's the second task of the day and honestly the least important because it's so easy the stuff is already assembled I'm just gonna stick it in there and make sure it's secure so we can talk about that later so as I, said, I pulled everything off the cot in prep for doing this it's a really nice high quality cot and like I said, if you need a fast solution to get a bed in your van until you can build one, you can't beat a good camping cot. You can literally take it out of a box and pop it in. Now the problem with the where this is, is that there's a wheel well right there that's always slightly pushing this, the length of the wheel well off the wall. I'd rather this be against the wall so that I can gain foot room over here because I am having a hard time squeezing between the bed and this platform where the new cabinets are going. And it's just it's just not enough room. I'm tripping over myself getting to the porta potty sometimes. Um, so I think I just need to do something about this amount of space. And there's all this space over here I can gain back if I can push this against the wall. Now, it's impossible to do that with a camping cot. So the only solution I have is to build one. <laughs> So my friends, that's what this wood is for. So I'm not gonna be talking a lot about it. I'm gonna be pulling out my tools, setting myself up, and we're gonna turn this into a replacement for that camping cot.
right, so here we go. Most of the wood is cut. I might need some other pieces, but I think this will get me started. So I'm going to go ahead and try to assemble this thing. I guess I can take off these uh these skews now. But here's the bed platform. And there is the new storage unit on this side. And as you can see, we have the white and the brown, and then this has the white with the gold handles and not really brown <laughs> except for the exposed part on that side but i think there's a kind of a flow going on at least the best i could do with only two days to kind of knock this out i'm pretty happy with it